MBS show, episode number 166. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Ro. Peace upon you, all you happy people. How are you doing, man? Oh, it's been an eventful month, an eventful month. Birthdays, anniversaries, and whatnot. Ah. That's why I've been absent the last two episodes. Hope people didn't miss me. Mm, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I, I, I'm sure they understand. And also joining us today is Sugar Dove. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Mm. So, how have you been? Like, this is your first time and all. So, we need to ask you the two important questions. The other two is for another episode. <laughs> so, question number one is, favorite pony? Um, Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. Why Rainbow Dash? I don't know. She's kind of brash. And I'm kind of brash. I kind of, I kind of understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And favorite episode? Uh, all of them. None of them. <laughs> what? So hard. <laughs> all of them. None of them. How? 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 How does one do that? How does one do that? Easy. You just love brightly coloured, pretty ponies, and you get excited at the mere thought of watching them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Then. Uh, but anywho, guys, uh, who are listening to this, it's one of those episodes we don't have a guest. I think last week's guest was pretty awesome, and. Yeah, I think it's a fair trade. No, no news time for last week's episode, but we do have a guess, and we don't have a guess, but we have news. Fair trade, right? Yep. Sounds fair. Mm-hmm. Last week's guest was Samuel Larson, and guess what? He'll be a guest at Every of West. Oh, yeah. Now, if only I managed to attend a convention. <laughs> yeah, true that, true that. But still, he's going to every free Northwest, and wow, this is cool. I mean, like, I wish I was going and all, and the event is going to be, what, happening on the 29th to 31st, I think, yeah? And, woof, that would be awesome. Like, it's, it's, it's at the end of the month, and everybody's going to have fun, and, like, if you listen to last week's episode, you heard us talking to him and you can just go to well go to him at this con in person talk to him say thank you in person <laughs> and talk to him about the room <laughs> yep and it's only three weeks left until ever free west 2015 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you can still purchase on the con for the convention on the website right yep 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 you can get your tickets there at the website if you want to know what they're doing the full list is on the website too. So if you want to know about, well, the pony stock concert, the events scheduling, and the vendor table, you can go to the website. Or you can go to our show notes, which has linked to the website. Redundant. But hey, if you're listening to this and you're on the website, you can just click on it. And guess what? Most of our, most of our friends are going there too. Like Ardell. Uh, he's opening a table, Ardell's Coffee Shop. <laughs> uh, he's doing that. And also, a uh, Team OK member, Blind Cow UT, is also going there. And the Brony Thank You Fund is also, well, opening a table there. There's a lot of awesome people going there. And if I do remember right, there's also going to be... Citra 360. He's going there too. So if you like his art or any of the vendors, go look at here and buy stuff, like, go there, like, Citra's there, um, My Little Ties are there, so if you want to have pony team ties, that'll be awesome. Yep, all the cool kids are hanging out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what are we doing? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I wish I was going there because convention, ponies, fun. I love anything that's fun, really. Who doesn't? Talking about Larson and all those people, would it be fun if we could hang out with them? Isn't there like a special event tickets on for sale up or something? I'm not sure. What do you, what do you, what do you see? What do you know, man? Well, I've heard that you can like have a dinner with, they've always liked to have Discord or Breakfast Celestia or something like that. If you have like special tickets purchased for the con. Hmm. I see. Let me see. Let me see. Because I think I have that in the show notes. Go to the show notes to see links, people. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, hmm. I see that, yeah, you could have voice acting classes with Lito Car, and it looks like you can have a comedy session, or, well, have some laughs with John Delancey and the crew from Sherlock Pones Variety Show, something like that. 
and also breakfast with Celestia, dinner with Discord, and mock pitch meeting with the directors of the show, Jason Thiessen and Big Jim Miller. So that's awesome. I would sell my soul to even meet some of those people. <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't say that, but if you're willing to pay that high of a price, um, the list of prices would be on their website. Like if you want to pitch a, well, if you want to pitch a show to, well, Big Jim and Jason, it's about $150. So it's, it's an amazing thing to do. Like if you have a show idea and you want to, well, tell them, or, well, share your idea with them, it's available there and you can do it. It's a fun experience to do. Or if you're the kind of person who, well, is too shy to talk to them or pitch your silly ideas, you could just have dinner with Discord or Jandalancy himself. $150. Man, that's too rich for my blood. True, true. What's worrying me is I have the money but no passport. (laughs) Oh, that's the dilemma, ain't it? Like, we have cash, but no money for either or. <laughs> Speaking of rich people, did you hear that Tony Sy- uh, Sy- Ro- Robert Downey Jr. posted ponies on his Facebook? Really? What's that the difference? Was a shocker. What's the, the difference? The internet exploded. Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark, there's no difference. It's the same person. <laughs> Still. <laughs> yeah. I don't oh. know how he prefers to be referred as. <laughs> I don't, I don't think he minds. Yeah. <laughs> Some people like get irritated when you uh, talk to them as their character, the one they act. Some people don't. I don't know what his reaction is. Anyway, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he... I didn't see that coming. Oh, yeah. But he does a lot of random things. So this was not... Well, this was one of them. This was one of those random things. And yeah, I, I do like the quote he did. Am I going to have to go brony? <laughs> Uh, you never he was go worrying back. he would probably do it if you told him to go off and watch this show he would probably do it he's the kind of guy that would just go right where the fans want him to go oh man probably but I'm not 100% sure he, he's just he's just awesome by his lonesome like he's awesome the way he is don't need to change don't need to do anything for us man so we got Robert Downey Jr we got Chuck Norris <laughs> all we missing is Morgan Freeman and the world is ours <laughs> When did we get Chuck Norris? A long time ago, as far as I remember. Really? Well, we, we had that episode. We were, we were reading on the episode of people, famous people becoming bronies. I think Chuck Norris was on that list. Really? I don't think so. I remember that episode. I was there. Are you sure we weren't confusing names? Like, we did that. I before. don't know. Don't take my word for granted. I mean, I could be mistaken. But I think Chuck Norris was on the list. And Applejack was his favorite. Uh, I, you know, Saturn I, I, and all that jazz. I, I I highly doubt it. But you know what, Ro? I'm just going to go for that. Because Chuck Norris does everything right. <laughs> yep. We'll need to do a review of previous episodes. Yeah, true, true. But, yeah, uh, I mean, with Chuck liking Applejack, Applejack does have a good song to her. Like... Um, someone remind me of a Apple Jack song because I don't remember one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's uh, Raise this barn. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's that's a good song. Uh, raise, raise this one is a good song. Yeah, yeah. You think uh, Robert Downey Jr. is gonna go visit a con anytime soon? Oh, I do hope so. When's man. Buck, by the way? Buck? Huh? Buck's not Didn't happening they announced this year. The dates? What? No. But I thought um, they said they announced the date. Isn't it this year or is it next year? I think it's next year because, well, if you do go on to Buck's website, they do have a website. That's buckon.org. And, well, it looks like they are going to, well, have a con next year instead of this one. And that's going to be on the 9th and 10th of April, 2016. I don't need a passport for this one. Mm-hmm. Mm, Event City, Manchester, United Kingdom. So... Sugar, t- tell us, like, you're, lo- you're a United Kingdom local, right? So that, that, well, how do you call yourself? Britain? British? Or, yeah, British, Kingdom? yeah. Scotland. Yeah, we're a, I'm a Scot. I don't go with anyone. <laughs> so, uh, but, yeah, you don't need a passport for this one. So, excited? That would be a good one to try and book time off to go and see. I mean, I might have birthday money from February, so it's like, ooh, I can maybe do this one. Oh, wow, April 2016. I could try. I could really, That's plenty really of time. Try. Like, if, like, Brony Scott's in November, and Brent's have money between November and April. Mm-hmm, true, true. And as for me, probably I'm going to try and attend this one, because, well, here's the thing. I had a great time last year, and 
I know now that I don't need a visa to go to the UK. So that's one job made things simpler. So I'll, all I need to do is just go there, hang out and have fun and get to meet all you awesome people. Like if you're going, sugar, we get to meet. Bro, you going? If I survive <laughs> the upcoming, the following year, maybe. We, you need to pinky swear on this one. We all need to pinky swear that we're going to find a way to get to this one. Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. I don't oh, yeah. have Life is unpredictable. I don't make plans. <laughs> if I'm able, I will. If not, well, there's always next year. True. <laughs> this is for next year, bro. <laughs> okay, the, ne- the next year after the next year. Uh, well, we, we'll, try, we'll try, we'll try. But you know what got me excited for this besides meeting you guys? It's Daniel Ingram. He's going to be there. And wow, I just want to talk to him and try and book an interview with him. Because come on, it's Daniel Ingram. Would you not want to talk to the person? Minus Larson, he's probably one of the more educated people running the show. Hey, I think some other people are awesome. Like Emma Larson. educated, but in our own ways. <laughs> I mean, come on, have you seen what he says when he's composing music? I mean, he puts in more thought into writing the music than some of the script writers. Hey! I didn't say Larson. I didn't say Larson. Oh, that's just mean. Every person is an artist, and they do the and they do art in their own unique way. Some may make sense, some doesn't. Like, take my art, for example. Do you make any sense of what I do? I certainly don't, but everyone's still down with me. Okay, okay, warranted, warranted. But still, you got Ingram going there, and well, this is just earlier on. Like, we got no idea who else they're going to invite, because last year they had a team, and the team was about creativity. So we had Heather Breckel, we had Dave Polsky, and they also had GM Barrow, the writers, well, one for the novel, one for the show, and one colorist for the IDW comics. So this year we have... Ingram. So I wonder what's the team for, well, Buck 2016 is. Hope is awesome. We can invite Larson with us. Oh, if Larson's going, I still want to meet him in person. Oh, he's so, he seems like a fun guy to talk to. It's just prod him. I mean, like you said, his wife's from England. He could probably, he'd probably come over. Yep. Yeah, and like I said, probably Buck wants to invite them. Notch, notch, wink, wink. <laughs> Well, like Rose said, we all those kind of things we can't plan. All we have to do is just well get ready. <laughs> me and me and Duff here are going to plan something like collect all the cash and try and go. Oh, I pity poor gamers. Edge, Edge, Edge! We're going to another con. Book a holiday Yay. right now. Yay! <laughs> oh, I do wish I can go to Scotland, but I'm think I want to save up cash for Buck because well. Uh, I did go to Buck last year, and if I try to go this year, I'll be, well, living under a bridge. Well, Buck's a two-day con. Scotland's only got a one-day con. So if you're going to make the most of something, you might as well go to Buck. Oh, true that, true that. But anywho, that's the news for this week. Sorry for the short episode, guys. But like I said, we've been, well, working hard, and I, I guess this is one of those days where we want to take a break, but I don't want to listen to myself. <laughs> we did have Amy Larson, and that was the event, and we should take a little break from that. Yeah. Two True. hours of wonderful conversation. Oh, I can't believe we had two hours of conversation. Wow. Sadly, I missed it. Yeah. Oh, maybe next year. Probably. And I was begging to listen. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, but still, but still, the uh, the interviews out, the interviews up in the air. So go to our website, thembiashow dot com, and listen in. And if you're listening this to this right now on the YouTube's, go to last week's episode. It's still there. But yeah, um, there's nothing new. So I think we should move on. Agree, guys? Quite. Yep. It's been a crazy week. Yeah. So. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can email us at mbsshow at gmail.com. And you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. SweetieBot will tweet about stuff related to the show. Like, I think she had a special message for you guys. And I think it's by Larson's book, Penny Royal Academy, on sale on Amazon now. And also available on audible.com. So, go do that. I think that's what she's trying to tell me. Isn't that right, Ro? 
Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you can also catch me on, uh, sorry, you can also catch me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And my fancy is saying that I should buy Larson's book, Penny Royal Academy, on Amazon and Audible. <laughs> what about you, Ro? You can find me at my Twitter, at religious underscore art. I just tweet random thoughts and whatnots. Or my gallery at religious.dnr.com, where I show off the magics. <laughs> that Yay. is my art and whatnot. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome, awesome. For now. I link everything in the show notes. And Sugar, what about you? Uh, you won't hear much from me very often, but if you're needing advice or help or plugs or any of the fun, nice things that us bronies should do for each other, you'll find me over at the Highland Bronies on Facebook. Hmm. Cool, cool. Highland Bronies on the Facebooks. Where else? Well, you can, might find Sugar Dove Draws on Tumblr. If you're feeling if you're feeling lucky, you might find me. <laughs> sure, I'll try and link everything. And also, you have a DeviantArt, right? I do have a DeviantArt, but I'm under a very, very old name. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's... the teenage years. Ah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are available in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Relicious. And I am Sugar Dove. And we'll see you next week with a more fuller episode. And don't forget to buy Amy Larson's book, Penny Royal Academy, available on Amazon and Audible.com. Is this going to be our new running gag? <laughs> Probably. Go buy his book. <laughs> Take us out, Rose. We'll Did, Did he sponsor you, Norman? Did he sponsor you? I was about to ask. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we will see you on the next podcast. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.